Hi, my name is Haley Hovenga and I am a co-owner of the Hovenga Ball Boutique with my uh, partner and husband, uh, Mitch. And I'd like to welcome you to our uh, boutique. And today I want to show you a few new uh, arrivals uh, that just showed up and we're going to do a little unboxing ceremony to welcome some of our future breeders here to the boutique. And, and I do have a few uh, to show you, so if you stick around to the end, I actually have a very uh, special ball python that I want to like save to last because I do believe she's going to be the crown jewel of the collection. Um, first, before I go into the unboxing, I'd like to tell you a little bit about myself. Uh, as a little girl, I was in love with uh, animals of all kinds, really. But most often what I could find in my explorations into the wood and the riverbanks would be um, some kind of reptile or tortoise or amphibian. And I was just delighted by anything I could find. I was turning over rocks looking for salamanders, um, just squealing with delight whenever I found them. And I, I found them quite often. I'm from Loveland, Ohio, and we have a lot of salamanders. Um, but I'd also, one of my favorite things to find was tortoises. And so I would be scouring the woods looking for tortoises. I was oftentimes down by the creek, again, just kind of walking around looking for um, anything I could find. And now I learned early on not to bring these wild things home. They didn't do, you know, didn't do well as pets because they were wild. So I learned to respect them in the wild and to enjoy them and then to release them pretty quickly after I had discovered them. Um, like I said, we're going to do an unboxing. But very quickly, last thing, I just want to say that um, the love of reptiles and the love of snakes is for everybody. Everybody that has a respect for animals, that is. If you respect animals and if you can provide well for them, then a snake might make a very good pet for you. And as you'll see, ball pythons are an amazing pet. They're very low maintenance. They're very docile, just wonderful creatures. And with the new exciting morphs, they are incredibly beautiful. Um, but that said, all ball pythons are gorgeous just like many other snakes. Um, but I'm a big fan of the ball, so I want to go ahead and um, share with you some new acquisitions that are going to form our breeding line here at Hovenga Ball Boutique. Uh, without further ado, let me go ahead and get started. Now, this first box is from uh, New England Reptile Distributors, NERD. And I have two uh, surprises in here. Um, I have... Uh, a breeder, male bumblebee, and also a lemon pastel and she um, possible head pied. And if you know much about ball pythons and you know that both of those morphs are just incredibly beautiful. Now I noticed that both of them have um, made a little mess. Let's see who we've got in here. Now the traveling can be stressful on an animal. And so I'm not going to do too much on this first video, but just give you a brief introduction. All right, now this is our um, bumblebee, and he's a little stressed out. So, like I said, we're just going to go ahead and get him in his, his enclosure pretty quickly. But you can see that he has some very gorgeous. Um, coloring all down his back. He's actually got really cute little spots here. One here, two here, one here. And he's hiding. He says, what's going on? Can't see his head here. Can't see, oh, there's the, there's the head. He looks to be in good health though. And we're gonna go ahead and get him in his enclosure. And here she is. She's not um, as shy as the bumblebee. She's out, as you can see. Oh my God, what gorgeous eye color. Um, I definitely can see her irises, I would say. Uh, probably a green, which is just gorgeous, gorgeous coloring, typical of a lemon pastel. And she's a, uh, a double morph. Now, in here, I'm gonna let you, I'm gonna bring it out and then if you're familiar with ball pythons, you can guess what I've got. And then I'll tell you. 
This is going to be a uh, future breeder. She's got a while to grow. Oh, she's all balled up. Very warm. Kind of hard for you to see, but here's some pattern and color for you. I don't know if you can tell, but she is Mojave Spider Het Ghost. And she's hiding. Hi. Very warm. Well, I'm not sure what happened, but my camera turned off on me uh, while I was introducing to you, you to the Mojave Spider Het Ghost. Um, um, but you also didn't get to see the last opening, which went fine, by the way. Uh, but I would like to introduce you to uh, this new arrival because she's just amazing. And so I'm going to grab her real quick. Um, this is the uh, absolute crown jewel of the collection so far. She's just amazing, just gorgeous. And when I pulled her out of the box, I was so excited. She was just peeking out at me. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful girl. Um, just to let you guess, um, you probably can't see very well, but she has some light patterning on her back. She's got this beautiful yellow color um, down her spine. And then she has a little bit of purple or lavender undertones to her skin here. She's just gorgeous. And she's probably wondering why I pulled her out. She wants to be left alone, but just typical of a ball python, she's tucked really tightly, her head's on the side, inside. They tend to be pretty um, shy creatures, not aggressive at all, very docile, just very easy um, snakes to, to, to own, to care for, and to love. Um, well, she's a mimosa. Um, she arrived this morning from, uh, by FedEx from Dave Green. And if you're familiar with uh, uh, reptile or ball python breeding, if you're a breeder yourself, you've probably heard of Dave Green because he uh, produces just some incredible morphs. He's taken a lot of time um, through careful selection of, of specific uh, morphs that he felt like were beautiful. And um, he, Dave has an interesting story. You should go check out his website, by the way. He actually left his corporate job to become a breeder. He breeds full-time now, and he is an established business um, that is doing well. He's very well known in the industry, and he produces some remarkable snakes. Um, I love Dave Green because the snakes that he produces, the ball python morphs that he produces, really excite me. The colors are just vivid and strong and powerful, yet subtle. The blushing is gorgeous. I mean, these are just la creme de la creme of ball pythons, truly. So if you haven't uh, visited his website, you should, just to see what he's doing. And um, I'm going to say goodbye for now, because this is a super long video, but I just wanted to introduce you to this gorgeous mimosa uh, before I put her away for about a week. Thank you so much for uh, sticking around for this video and uh, for checking out the Hovango Ball Boutique. Um, I won't probably won't be having any babies uh, unless, you know, we may get lucky with a couple of clutches by the end of the year, but not from these beautiful um, codons that have arrived today. You might be able to expect to see some of those from me down the line, like 2000, uh, 2014. So wish me luck um, and say goodnight to this little girl, this little mimosa, and I will see you for the next unboxing at the Hovango Ball Boutique. Oh. Before I go, be sure to like my page on uh, Facebook, it's Facebook backslash Hovanga Balls, and um, I'd love it if you'd like my page to help me get get the word out about these beautiful morphs that um, that will be settling in to comprise the two lines that we'll be establishing at Hovanga Balls, the gourmet balls that are the Codom, Triple Dom, just beautiful, beautiful. Um, and exquisite uh, ball pythons, and also what I'm going to call an espresso line, which will be um, 
your beautiful ball pythons in the natural state as well as maybe um, pastels and just a single dom and just kind of make them um, you know affordable for people who love animals and would like to um, experience the joy of owning a, and caring for a ball python so thanks so much for sticking around all right bye